Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Autumn. I'm Grandpa. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm Joel. I'm Daniel. And we're some of the veggie boys. And girls. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. Ooh -wee. Welcome back everyone. We are working on finishing setting up the farm market this morning. I just got all the produce pulled out of the cooler. We got our shelves over here filled up and my Aunt Rhonda and myself were just making sure that everything on the shelves looked fresh and that it was filled up. I believe Dad is at the wholesaler today. We don't have a lot of baby carrots. There's some things that we're missing here. So he'll be picking those up. Many times when it comes to the farm market, a lot of you viewers like to know how much we price everything out. Now this time of the year, it kind of goes off of what we're buying. Uh, we have to figure the price in that way. Now when we raise the stuff, we usually have a set price that we can use. But as I mentioned, this time of the year when we're buying stuff in, the price fluctuates. So our prices have to fluctuate sometimes too. Oh, the girls told me it was windy last night. And I didn't believe them because I slept like a rock, but I guess some of this stuff was falling over. I uh, see I had to put the heavier sweatshirt on because it is pretty chilly out here. Not chilly enough to keep the ground frozen, but one day we're going to get all of this fixed. You just wait. have standing here at the feeders 49 and 50. 49 was our mother cow. Uh, she had the calf. We named the calf Jacob. And then 50 is a heifer that we're going to be breeding this year. So we're getting started into a little brood herd just a little bit. Uh, that used to be one of my dad's favorite things about farming. He had a brood cow herd. I don't think we were born yet or if we were born we were very very young. Um, but I don't remember too much with the brood cows. So when it comes to the cows, that's really exciting for like me and my brothers. And it'll be neat that Callie uh, will get to grow up seeing all these calves being born on the farm. I'm excited for that. We just got finished with the cows, so I'm popping in on Lefty. Um, he is working on feeding chickens. You can see he's already gone through and put some grain in. And now we're collecting eggs. Above average egg production. Can you get the door for me, please? Yeah. Thank you. Man, this lefty guy gets a YouTube channel and he goes Hollywood. I don't know what to tell you. We've got basically all the animals taken care of except for the calves. Andrew, do you got any chocolate and graham crackers? Because I see lots of marshmallows. That's hay. No, they're marshmallows. <laughs> oh, you're looking nice and scruffy. Don't be scared. I'm your friend. There's not too much to help with for the calves. Uh, Daniel already got basically everything taken care of. Uh, the little chicks in there, they need some feed, so I'm running over here to where we have the layer feed at. We have some meat chicken feed there, so I'm going to give them that. Good morning, little chickies, I'm coming in! Okay. 
with many new calves coming to the farm we are going to have to clean out these pens now we're not going to take everything out and go through with the skid steer loader we're actually going to pitchfork everything out which that will take a little extra time but the little extra time that we'd have to take everything apart and then put it back together uh, we'd prefer to just scoop everything out by hand maybe it won't be the most efficient thing but this time of the year we can sacrifice a little efficiency before we can drive in here with the skid steer to get the manure we have to take this board off the reason why the board is here is because when we close the garage door there's a gap so then it keeps the wind from blowing in and hurting the calves did you just show up for work this morning no i've been working a long time already oh do you hear that over on the horse barn Ooh. Horses probably aren't listening this morning. I'll bet your life's not too stable over there this morning. It is called a stable life, but as dad said, doesn't sound too stable right now. That's how it is dealing with 1400 pound animals when they don't want to listen. Sometimes you got to raise your voice. So we've got two things going on in here. Right now, dad and Daniel are banding calves and I am over here going to start scooping manure into the skid steer loader. Fortunately, this manure I'm dealing with is all on the wet side. So it's not too dusty, which makes it a lot easier on me. So I just got this first pen cleaned up. We're just trying to get a bulk of the manure out. A little bit on the bottom won't hurt. You can see we almost got an entire skid steer bucket load out of that first pen. Now we have four pens all together that we're going to be cleaning out and a lot of this is just from hay and sawdust being stacked on top of each other and this is from about two months which isn't too bad we're happy to come through and scoop it out every once in a while it's good for us I had to take off the outer sweatshirt. I'm working up a sweat. We got these three pens cleaned out and we have one more over here. We do have a little bit me out way that we need to scoop up yet, but Daniel's gonna come right through with the skid steer loader and I'll bucket it in. I probably wouldn't eat off of it, but it is clean enough for the calves to live on. What we're gonna end up doing is just leaving this empty for now. Uh, we're not gonna put any sawdust in there. We're gonna let this dry out all day. And the reason for that is because if we set the sawdust down in, it would actually soak up all that moisture. And that's why we like using the sawdust because it's so good at wicking up that moisture and keeping things dry. So now that we're done with the manure, we went and got cleaned up and now we're going to be bagging some potatoes. The farm market's been relatively busy and we've actually had a lot of orders for potatoes coming in, which is really good because if we can get all of our potatoes sold and moved out of our storage, that's what we want. As a matter of fact, we only have a few more potatoes in the hopper that haven't been washed yet. And we also have these red potatoes here. So that's pretty much it. That's not a lot of potatoes. Potatoes. Oh, you guys are excited. Uh oh. I'll get you guys on the next bucket, okay? We got a few bags of potatoes filled up, and now we're gonna wash the rest of the potatoes in that hopper.
That's a good looking potato right there. Daniel is gonna take those potatoes up to the farm market. I am taking these potatoes that are bad over to the cows. And then that should about wrap up our morning. Who wants potatoes? Your favorite. Who wants potatoes? Everyone's favorite. almost forgot to turn the fan on for the potatoes. All right, everyone, we are coming up on lunchtime and we have got a treat today. Grammy has made meatballs. Ooh, see the steam come out of that? Meatballs for meatball hoagies. And we have some homemade mac and cheese. And that is a homemade sauce in there. You guessed it, everything looks delicious. So for the afternoon, we really haven't had too much going on today. A lot of us have been hunting. And besides that, there just wasn't much going on. Our market's open today, so everyone's been taking care of that. Uh, Daniel had already taken care of the animals, so there's really nothing else to do this afternoon. We are gonna be closing up the farm market soon though, so we're gonna have to kick out people like this guy right here. Hi. People in my comment section have been looking for you. I'm not dead, I'm alive. I was just hibernating. Hey, come on, I gotta get out of here. I said, I am Daniel this morning when we were at the calf barn and I was cleaning out cow pens and I was taking apart the board at the bottom. That's when I said I was Daniel. I might actually make it into the video today, so I better say hi. It's dark because it's so early. We just got the farm market closed up and now we are heading up to the house. All together today, a lot of our morning was spent just working down by the animals. And then this afternoon, we didn't have too much going on, which this time of the year, I'm not too upset about that. We work so hard all summer long, it's nice to have a day off. You drove your quad up here, you couldn't even walk. I had to drive home from work. I'm gonna need my pants. So we were up at the house, I'm taking the boots off. As you can see, there is no dinner on the table because it's date night. So you guys know what that means. Since it's date night, this is where we're gonna end the video. We'd like to thank everyone for watching and we hope to see you next time. Bye bye